All right, guys, I'm at the Dallas Card Show. I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna take you behind the scenes. I've shown you like my dollar box pickups, but I've really, never really shown you as I've done it. So I got a little GoPro set up. I'm gonna go in there, go through some dollar boxes, see what I can find and talk you through kind of what I'm thinking, why certain things have caught my eye. So one of the most important things when you go through dollar boxes is actually your time. You're only gonna be making a few dollars per card and it takes a lot of digging. So you wanna focus on the boxes that are actually worth your time. And a box like this is, is definitely a good one. You see there's a ton of quantity. So this guy is just trying to move stuff. You know there's gonna be some gems in there. And also there's variety in color, right? I picked out that older numbered tops chrome. There's some older cards in here. Almost everything is colored or silver. We have a, you know, Alex Smith 2003 draft pick. And here was a really nice pickup. Jeff Akuda Cosmic, probably like a 10 to $15 card, which is pretty good considering these cards actually ended up costing me less than a dollar. He also had a ton of these really nice Topps Chrome x fractors Even, you know, I've been doing this for a while, I still make mistakes. Most of these are not worth enough to, to sell on eBay. Usually they gotta be worth at least $5. And these weren't, but still at the very least, these are really cool cards and I'll, I'll find something to do with. And there were cards that actually were worth picking up. This uh, Jimmy Graham Topps Gold Rookie here, numbered for less than a dollar, no brainer all day. These Topps Chrome black refractors right here, pretty sure these are numbered, you know, Jay Cutler, orange color match. I, I'm not, I didn't, I wasn't able to sell every single one of these, but there was definitely good stuff. And here I found some crazy deals. There were, this was the 25 cent box, you know, Luke Keekly, Topps Chrome refractor, Alex Smith, um, found this Le'Veon Bell rookie and here showing you guys the process. I go, if I'm not sure about a card, I'll go and look it up. No shame. Le'Veon Bell, I was like, okay, he's a big name, but a base prism insert, is this really gonna sell? I looked it up and from what I could see, no, not really. I think that, you know, the colored stuff was was barely selling, but I think in the end I ended up, or maybe I didn't, <laughs> I'm not sure if I picked it up, but you can see here, you know, numbered early Topps Chrome football stuff. I'll even just keep this for my collection if it comes down to it, but this was, I think it was 20 cents a pop, just a no brainer. So definitely good stuff here put together. I think I got over a hundred dollar cards and uh, you know, a good amount of these 20 cent ones, but I also saw he had some slabs I was interested in. So I was hoping I could maybe package everything together and uh, maybe make a bulk deal. Real quick, before we get into the rest of the video, I just want to give a special shout out to the presenting sponsor of today's video, Veriswap. If you're looking for the easiest, safest way to trade cards online, definitely check out Veriswap, safe, secure, easy. Use my link in the description down below. And now back to the video. All right, so I have my stack over there. My hunting. I'm interested in the Gunner Henderson Gold. It's a nice card. It is. I don't even know what the pop is. Is the Adley available or are you holding no, that? the Adley's available. Okay. But it's a nine. Ah, I see. See? So there's a big difference. I see. And it's a 99. Yeah. That's out of the 50. Yeah. Let me just see real quick. You an Orioles fan? Uh, I do like the Orioles. I mean, they have a lot of good young talent. I think they got a lot of upside. Yeah. There's three nines and uh, seven tens of that. Okay. The this. So. Yeah. I'm sure we can figure something out. Let me see how many. We can cards. figure something out. I think I got more than 100, actually. You got a what, 102? Uh, I don't know, how many do we have there? That was 50. Oh, wow, perfect, I didn't even count. I did it perfect. 102. So 60 and 10, so we're at 70 bucks. 70 bucks, that's good. That's fine. Yeah. Okay, I mean. I would like to be, I would be lo love to be more towards 160 and 40. For these two. 160 and 40? Yeah, for those two. With on top of that. So that would be 200. Was that 260? And that, so. so 160 and 40, so 200 basically yeah. for the pair? Yep. Okay. We can do that. Then the button. All right. All right. Perfect. Then I went over and hit, this is this is almost like a, a famous dollar box here at the Dallas Card Show. I think it's been in some of like Mojo's videos and stuff, but you'll always see a ton of people going through this. And I think that's might be a little bit of a bad thing because I didn't get to it till a little later in the show and I think it had been pretty well picked over by the time I got to go through it, you know. There's some interesting stuff in here, but this dollar box actually, it was interesting. It, it taught me a lot. I was pulling out 
cards that I thought would be worth something, you know, even like this Brady, right? A Royal base, a Ken Griffey, even a couple months ago, those would have been no brainers to pick up, you know, Optic Hollow, you know, Drake London, Jordan Poole, pretty top rookie cards of, of bigger names. And it's just not, it's not even worth selling anymore for more than a dollar. I mean, this Kenny Pickett is actually a perfect example. I think I pull it back out in a second, but that absolute rookie right there, that sells for 25 cents or even as low as one cent on eBay now. Before a rookie card of a top QB, that was, you know, minimum five bucks. So I've had to readjust my dollar boxing strategy a little bit too. Speaking of making mistakes, it's funny going through this, you know, like Mahomes, that elite right there, a little bit of like a refractor look to it. I was like, oh man, I should have picked that up. So uh, I try to help you guys, but I definitely make mistakes along the way too. And you know, those older cards were interesting. Going through here, Otani, that's another one that would have definitely been worth money before. Now, less than a dollar. So I think that was actually the theme of most of this box. I set aside a good amount of cards and then I looked them up and I was like, okay, none of these cards are are they're, they're not worth me picking up. And usually I, I do that and I go through and if I pick up a couple and it's like, okay, not a single one of these is worth picking up. Usually I kind of cut my losses and I'm like, all right, let's, let's maybe go look at another bo dollar box. I don't think that I'm going to find a ton of value in here. I don't want to turn this into the reminiscing podcast, but here's another one. Deandre Hunter optic hollow. During COVID, this was like a huge card. That's a that's a banger right there. And now I couldn't believe it. Not even worth picking up. Even that, I think that was a Gunnar Henderson Bowman base in the back. This box was interesting. A bunch of stuff that I thought would be worth something, but and I think honestly really would have a couple months ago, but now just not so much. However, not all base is bad though. Mikhail Bridges optic base. I've actually sold a couple of those on eBay for, for five bucks. So I decided to pick that one up. The newer base, no matter the name, almost never worth anything. But once you get 2019 and a little older, once in a while, you know, if, if it's a name that's relevant, Mikhail Bridge is playing really well recently, is worth taking a shot at. And when I'm dollar boxing, I really do try to focus on the quote unquote older cards, you know. 2020 was bad, it's a million times worse now. All that stuff is just printed to the absolute moon. Basically, if it's not numbered or of an absolute top, top, top name like Patrick Mahomes, LeBron James, and it's new, I don't really even pull it out. But stuff like this Chris Paul Select Silver from 2014, just a little bit more rare. I I'm not sure that one ended up being worth a ton, but at a dollar, I'm picking that one up all day. Another one, the story continues. Michael Porter Jr. Prism Silver Rookie, thought it'd be worth something, was not. So I, I decided to switch things up. He had a $10 box and honestly, regardless, if you have the bankroll to do it, 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 you should spend a good amount of time on the more expensive cards, right? And I started seeing some promising signs. Once again, a couple months ago, these would have been absolute no brainers. Drake London Optic Hollow, selling as low as $1 now. Christian Braun Prism Silver, top rookie, selling for $2. Just, just insane, insane what's happened. I thought I found a screaming deal there, but Apparently not. But on the other hand, I think it will be good because it's just become harder and harder to move lower end cards. So people are just gonna throw like cards like that. They'll just see a dollar and throw it in their dollar box. And you know, if you're patient on that, you're gonna be and list it on eBay, you will eventually be able to make money. I did end up finding some good stuff though. This Kobe, Tua, you know, Crack Dice, Josh Akogi, Black Velocity. I mean, that Cade was a really nice pickup. I think that alone is, you know, that could be a $20, $30 card and you got a discount if you bought multiple. So decided to go for it. Thank you. It's also really important when you're dollar boxing, you kind of got to find a niche and have, and have some sort of, I don't want to say special knowledge because it's not special, but you know, any genius can find a Joe Burrow Prism Silver in a dollar box and though the dealer will know that and the other people going through will know that. So that kind of stuff, it just won't be in there often. But you know, for me personally, my niche that I like to focus on is soccer. I know this stuff well, I, I know the prices pretty well off the top of my head, so I can be quick and I'll find stuff that other people might not necessarily be interested in. So I really, I do well going through soccer dollar boxes, found some cool stuff here. Let's, let's, let's play a little game. How much do you think that Mbappe prized footballers is worth? I was, I could not believe, I, I, once again, I thought I found a crazy steal for five bucks. I'm like, okay, I'll probably be able to get it to, for three. That's a no brainer. And it's just not. 
I did like this Gakpo auto though. That was, I got that for really cheap. Decided to pick that up in the Julian Alvarez. I think they ended up costing me something crazy, like 20 bucks or something. That was a good deal. I found this other soccer dollar box. Started going through here, base soccer. It's almost it's like just the no, almost always. Maybe other sports, there's a few base cards that can get it done at a dollar. Definitely not soccer. Even at three bucks for a top rookie like Pedri, I was staying away. Towards the back, I found some cool stuff. This Luis Suarez, Black Velocity. That's a really nice card, but for 25 bucks, I decided to stay away. But then kept moving back and there were some really nice Pedris here hiding, you know, Ooh, color match, yellow, numbered for 30 bucks. Talked them down a little bit. That was a good deal. Refractors, I think that was five, 10 bucks. Malik Tillman, kind of a sneaky US men's national team prospect. Auto for 15, all, no brainer. Got a good combined deal on all these. People just want to move it. So I usually can do pretty well picking them up for cheap. But all right, guys, that is it for the video. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Peace.